Okay, this is Andrew Autumn Reed. Now, he won for the best category of... The Audience Award. Now, I can honestly say, look, I watched your film and I was so blown away with the emotion from the start to the end. Now, the bottom line of this is nobody really knows um, in its fullness, but this is actually your story from what I understand. Am I correct? That's right, yes. Yeah, that, um, it's a true story. It's based on my life. Um, I've suffered with mental illness from the age of 14 and I've had on and off transient psychotic episodes through my life, um, managed by medication sometimes. Um, so, yeah, so basically I made the film to raise awareness of mental illness. Um, people that are suffering know that there's someone out there for us. So the message of the film is reach out, don't stay silent, ask for help. You know what, Andrew, I'm so touched. I mean, the, the, I mean, how was it for you be saying to yourself, right, I'm actually going to just put this out there and let the world see who I am? I mean, how, how was that for you? Was that a, like a decision that was quite easy for you or was it something that I, I kind of said, you know what, I'm just going to do it? I've been thinking about it for a number of years um, and I've written a five-page script and it was in the pandemic because I wasn't working at the time I was shielding. And I thought, um, why not um, start writing? And then I started writing and the script came to about 20 pages and I approached a director and then we worked with that director and then we moved on to another director. We weren't going in the same vein. Mm -hmm. um, and then we were mid-production and then we started the casting side of it and brought on board Michelle Collins and Daniel yeah. Casey and Marilyn Cutts um, which did a fantastic job of the um, film so yeah so basically it's it's been a, a long process and um, a challenging process yes, of course, but I'm something sure. something that um, I've always wanted to do and I thought many many years ago saying to Michelle today uh, making a film, who knows, Tom Cruise could star in the feature, <laughs> if they don't want me. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> but you know what, Andrew, I think the awareness was definitely brought, yeah. you know, it, it certainly, um, it, was, it was brought home, that's all I can exactly, say. Exactly, yeah, 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 it's brought home. And I think, um, I wanted to make it for anyone, really, who's suffering with anxiety, bipolar, um, psychotic episode. Yes. There's so many strands of mental illness. Sometimes it just comes upon you without least expecting it and to know that there's people there for you and there's counsellors and there's charities. We work with um, a charity called No Panic, okay. um, so we're coll collaborating with them. So right. we've got stuff out on social media at the moment, so if you want to have a look at the interview that we've done. Mm. Um, but they're a great one to work with, so many different charities for mental health. But don't be afraid, don't stay silent, ask for help. That's the main thing. I'm so proud of you, Andrew. I mean, we're after this. What, what are you planning to do next? Is there anything in the pipeline that you think that might can extend from what's taken place today? Because you you're, you're, so, you're supposed to be so proud of what you've done. Yeah, I think it's all a bit overwhelming at the moment because I, I didn't you. I didn't expect it. So I did, and I told Michelle this morning, "You're going to win. You're going to win something. You're going to win her." I told her. Go ahead. Okay. So what we're going to look to do is to reach out to um, companies corporate companies schools colleges and bring the film out to people so it helps people to understand mental illness and for people to come up and say to me at a talk or one of the presentations i'm struggling i need help can you help me can you point me in the right direction yeah. Yeah, sure. and i think um also we're going to look at possibly looking at nominated BAFTA festivals and maybe reach out to them and who knows but we'll keep you posted on social media and um, yeah it's a, it's a terrific prize and thank you to Soho, uh, Soho Lift that have created this for us and to be able to um, bring the film out to people so that they can see the film and I think understand and empathise with the person going through it but also I think people forget about the family and it's the mum and dad 
yeah. and the siblings yeah. that can all experience, all experience it, but you yeah. experience it in different ways and it affects your life in different ways. Absolutely. And I think the long walk touches on that. And the film was made in memory of my mum, because my mum sadly passed away in 2021. So and she was my rock. And, and she'd be super proud of you, you know that, Andrew, come on. And I know that she's looking down from above and looking after me. And always, always. She was always there for me. She was always there. I've got my dad and my sister, but my mum was always there for me. She was looking after me from the, the go. So, yeah. And, and you got that across in that film, how much love she had for you. Never, never a moment that she left your side, clearly. No. You know, well done, Andrew. We're very proud of you and thank, thank you. you for sharing. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Come you. on. Thank you. Oh, bless you, Andrew. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bless you. It's Andrew.